the losses was already calculated by the ice pen high seas. I, I don't need to, to add that to my calculation. What I need is to consider the pressure at this point. I need to consider the vapor pressure at this point, and I need to consider the mass gravity, the mass density at this point. It is what this formula tells us. And you, you should consider also the pump elevation, but uh, in this case, I will not worry about that. So here, when we get the spreadsheet, you are able to import information to, to here, and you are able to export information here, and it is, looks like an Excel spreadsheet in your Aspen High Seas. So I... I will add the information related to the, the stream 5 that is at the, the let's just verify. So, sorry, it's the stream 4. So, I will get information from stream 4. So, I want from stream 4, I want the pressure. I want the vapor pressure, and the ice pen high seas identifies the vapor pressure as the bubble point pressure. So this is the vapor pressure that we are looking for. So I will use the bubble point pressure one, and I need also the mass density. Mass density. Okay, I have the three variables that I need to do the calculation, and I have the identification cells. I go to spreadsheet, and now I will do the calculation of the NPSH available, considering only this information and not the velocity, because the ice high seas will do the calculation always based on the velocity in the nozzle. So, what I need is the pressure at the, the suction, that is A1, minus the vapor pressure, A2, uh, divided by uh, the mass density, A3, and I need to convert that to kilopascal, so it is multiplied by this. Oops, something is wrong. Ah, this is too big. Just a moment. I need to consider the gravity. Okay, so now I have the calculation of the NPSH available at the suction of my pump. And uh, I am able to tell the Eisenhower High Seas what kind of uh, variable is this. So if I go to variable type, I can tell Eisenhower High Seas that it is length. Let me see length. Okay, so it gives the units of meters to me, and I am able to identify it, NPSH available. Okay, so this, the calculation are done. It's pretty similar to what was calculated by the, the ice pen high seas. Okay. And I am able also to show this in my, in my screen. So what I will do is click with the right side of my mouse, click on show table, and now I am able to add the NPSH available calculated. So with this, you have everything that you need to do a quotation of a new pump to your plan design. You have the flow, 
you have the process conditions at the inlet of the pump, you have calculated the, the, the pressure head, you have the NPSH available, and the only thing that you need now is a, uh, a document to fill all of this information.